Hey everyone, this is Adam with the Patia News in Patia, Thailand with your daily Patia News and Thailand update. First story today is what you see in the video above you in which a boat delivering uh, supplies and goods to a floating restaurant on Patia Bay set a blaze last night at about 8 o'clock p.m. in Patia Bay. Many people could see the blaze from the beach. We actually got several messages and, and uh, reports of the blaze while it took place, but we already had personnel on the scene that were recording the incident. The captain, who was not injured and managed to get off the boat safely with the help of people nearby, is a Cambodian man whose name and age was not given. However, he did say that he was delivering the goods and that all of a sudden the boat went ahead and started setting a blaze. The engine of the boat suffered serious damage in this particular incident, although fire investigators as well as marine officials will be investigating today to determine exactly what happened. The second story yesterday is one that took place in Bangkok. Now, of course, you probably are aware of the protests that have been taking place for the past couple of weeks in Thailand. Now, actually, the past couple of months, these protests are actually uh, two-pronged. There's both pro-democracy protests and there's pro-establishment protests. Now, over the last couple of days, uh, which went viral not just on our media but worldwide, in which several protesters uh, from both groups went ahead and were trying to get to Parliament. Now, what is actually happening right now is for the past two days, Parliament was going ahead and looking at seven potential charter amendments for the Constitution that they're going to go ahead and give a proper reading to. Now, this is a preliminary process. What the pro-democracy protesters are asking for is to change the Constitution to, in their opinion, allow more democracy. Uh, now, the seven drafts uh, differ in many different ways, and we're not going to get into that in depth here. You can take a look at our articles on our website for more information on that. But the pro-democracy protesters were calling for one specific draft, by a, uh, not by an opposition or a government group, but by an independent group signed by almost 100,000 people called ILAW. This particular amendment uh, draft would allow change to all areas of the Constitution, including areas of the Constitution that traditionally are unable to be amended or edited, which affect the highest institution, a.k.a. the monarchy. That particular draft was rejected yesterday, which did not surprise analysts. One opposition and one government draft were accepted and will face further amendments in the future. Now, the head of ILAW actually went ahead and said that, you know, although their draft was rejected, processes are taking place and the other two drafts do show that some changes are going to take place to the Constitution and it's a positive start, according to ILAW. Meanwhile, pro-democracy protesters were not happy whatsoever that this particular one did not go ahead and pass and said that they will have another massive protest on November 25th in Bangkok at the Crown Property Borough. They are asking for uh, many different things, but the biggest and the three uh, biggest things that they're going after are number one, to dissolve parliament, particularly senators that they state were chosen by the military. Number two, to draft a brand new constitution. Number three, to reform, not abolish, not get rid of, reform make changes to the monarchy or the highest institution, which is the most controversial one. Another big protest took place yesterday, but was very peaceful compared to the one the day before. The Patia News will continue to monitor this and all other developments. Thank you for watching. Make sure you subscribe to us on YouTube.